Hello guys, welcome back in Seven of Channel. So guys, in this video we are going to make a list view which contain the image view from the Firewatch storage. Okay, how we can make it in this video? I show you. But for that starting, I you need all the viewers to give thanks the user which user tell us to make this video. Okay, you see the user comment. Okay, so guys, let's start. So for that you can you need first a linear. Okay, let's set a linear and set it match with pattern and make sure that your project with connected with the firebus uh, okay so you also need to separate your firebus id app id okay and make sure that you change the rule of the firebus storage and the database without that two things your firebus will be not work okay for sketchware you must need to change the rule of the firebus if you don't know how to change the rule of the firebus storage and the database you can check out our description box link the, in that video we showed that how you can set your firebus storage and how you can add your project with firebus easily and properly okay so let's click a or let's create a component that firebus db so on the firebus db we set the name is fdb and the location we set is uh, image okay for now image clash data okay and the second one is storage so again image okay but this time we set it as okay so storage so we set it storage okay so you can see i add two things one is firebus database one is firebus storage okay so firebus database display the whole a list view to display the all the image from the storage and the storage get the all the image in the uh, a safe data okay so also we need a pickup component so let's add a pickup component so we can set the pickup component file and you can not use a alpha word so you must need to uh, set small letter after then you need to set it uh, image file and add okay the two thing is done now we want to add a list view to display the whole the image okay so let's set it uh, match with pattern and now we create a custom list view i already created a custom list view but i let me show you one more that uh create a custom list view and set it your custom main which uh, which one you want in my case i'm setting custom 2 or customs okay after then comes custom radius you want to click on your list view and here you can see option that custom view so on the custom you want to set your custom which you make after that go on your custom view after that you want to add a image to display the image in my case uh i'm just um, let me set it uh 150 maybe it's some more small uh 250 is maybe good 250 whiteness and by 250 okay or you can set with a match with pattern okay or uh, let's set it uh, with data okay so it automatically resize with the view okay and after that we must need to set the scroll type or the center of scroll type so let's set the center uh, scroll type center of inside okay so it automatically combine the whole picture in the image side after then uh, we need to add a text view so it will be display the name of the image okay after then save it and come back on the main screen on the main screen go on the event section go on view click on the plus button you want to we need a uh, be on behind custom view so add that and then after then adding let's go on the component on the component we must first need to set the pickup file so on the pickup file section we need to set the on pick file so the on pick file mean what is do if then the user pick the file what is do okay so for that code we now give a variable so on the variable section you want to add a variable with string that path okay first one is for path and again create the same string url with the variable that path okay and give a stone and name okay done then you want to add the string here list and uh, on the list get at the listing and drag and drop it here and first one set it path and then again go on variable again add a string set with the path name then go on the file so on the file section you have to set with get at the last segment of the get at the last segment of the file path 
okay then come on again variable set it on path and on the get at the value set it zero and drag and drop in here and second one is for here after the all the things uh it will be we need a variable to display the image name so for that we want to see that which uh path it said so let's give the variable it path name so now we need a text view to see the text which path it collected so uh let's set it a linear here and add a blue tone for pickup file and then second one is for text name it will be display so on the pile pickup section we just set it on the text one after the whole thing go on component then you have to uh, need a block that upload file with the name as so set it file image and drag and drop in here after then go and variable so drag and drop two things path and path name on the path you have to upload the file path and the path and the path names okay so let me tell it some separately and easily that what it will be do so on that two block first it will be get the value from the on the path okay so which type of file we pick like image song or something else okay it will be get the whole data in the path section after then on the path name section we add a get last minute of the path to get last minute of the path so it will be refine the name from automatically from the android devices so you not need to give uh, other or manually the name of the file path okay after then we just set the variable that after then which type of path it picked it we just see the name on the text we want okay after then it will be publish or upload the file in our firebus storage with the name of the firebus control and the path and the path name also okay then come back save it and close it now we want to set the variable uh, the firebus storage so what it will be do so on the upload section we add a variable uh, that view and set a text view set it text view one after the text view we set a operator with the dm curl and process value so we see the process value how much uploading on here after then on the download uh, successful okay what it will be do if then the download is success so again it will be display the download url it's much need to give us guys it's, it's a very important thing so on the download that one so it will be after the publishing it will be automatically give the generate the url in the text view one so feature we need that after then save it now we also need a one more blue tone so here set it on here so first one set it for file okay so file we set first one is for file file and second one is for upload the file so here is the upload and save it after then save it now we have to set our firebus database so on the child add we have to now give a variable what it will be do if then the data is that position so we add a firebus child edit with the list make sure that lots of users uh, do a mistake that they set the reset the list view with the data so guys that block is not work for if you are using a custom list view okay if you are using a simple list view uh, automatically default list view it will be work but if you make your custom uh, view so in that case you want to use the custom view with the listing data or it will be not work okay after then set the whole the variable with your list with the list map okay in my case i also want to tell you that i already created a list okay if you don't know how to create i just show you go on the list section and on the list list you have to go on the map and set it a uh, list okay so you find the block after then hold the thing so what it will be do i just tell you that uh when the data all the in the power firebus database it will be display the whole data in our list view okay so we can see which type of email image or in here okay now on the upload section and to do work need to do on the upload section on the upload section we have to create a map bar that map bar after that we have to set it create map put asset key with variable so we have to need two type of block because one is uh, for url and second one is for the name okay after that clean up the map and we have to now go on component on the component we need to find a variable that or block the firebus db uh, with push value so on the push value map bar and set it on here so first one we give the keys image 
and the second one we give the uh, value uh, key is name okay the name is well, good and on the name section uh what will we what we can give guys uh okay let's set it on here uh, on the image it will be first get the image variable from the text view one after that on the variable section mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. guys we need a variable to what we can give the name okay guys so uh, you know that we, when we are going create a block on the pickup component we make a block that on path file name so we can use that block on here so it it uh it will be automatically refine the block from or get the name from the pickup component okay after then that's all is here and after we set a variable that done okay so we can know that it's done and come back and save it now on the file pickup section we want to just simply add a block on component that pick file and come back on the behind of the list view now we have to give the variable so for that when you are creating a list you automatically it will be generate a block for you that get at the zero position with the key with the list maps you want to set the position is automatically position and set it list and just copy the block again and now we have to go on the view for view we have to first set a, we need a text view after then the text view what we need a url okay it's very simple guys after then set the text view and second one store image and then set the, that one name and set your key what you give in my case i am first one is for name so i set it name and second is for with the alphabet letter image so done okay so it's now done also we can add a a block that on the child is add so we not need to remove our app it means that if then we add new variable from our list so we need to cut our app and then again open our app to see the new data but if you give that block uh, you not need to cut your app again or close your app again and open it will be automatically refresh the list view so same the block guys child with the add view and the custom list view set it on here come back save and guys all the data is done so now we can run our app okay after then running and installing i just show you how you need to use or how it work and if you want the it's demo project or demo version i give you the link in the description box but for that you must need to comment us okay so guys our test project is now it comes installing and let's we run it but for before run we must need to connect with our device with wi-fi or without wi-fi it will be not work okay so guys if you have any question in comment section box please like so and hit the bell icon okay if you are new in here and if you have any question you can comment us or if you need any type of help you can also comment us in our comment box okay we must help you okay it's installing and installing wow it's taking lots of time come on man install okay guys at the last it will be installed fully and now we want to open our app so let's go on menu section and here you can see the test project let's open the test project and here you can see the test project you must need to give it allow access okay so, so guys you can see the whole data is empty for now because we don't give any data okay so now we want to add a data so for that we pick a image so guys you can see it's automatically throw you on the image section so in my case uh, i am selecting this is a bot okay so this is a bot wallpaper and now you can see uh, here is the uh, process bar and here you can see it will be after processing you can see the url is come now just click on upload so on the upload you can see uh, the image here guys it's automatically come you can see the image name and the jpg and here you can see whole the thing it's automatically come and we not need to give refresh our view so let's pick another file and another thing so let's set our next uh, thumbnail on the tiktok so you can see the processing it's now processing after then uh, hold the thing it will be upload so here you can see it's our second one and here you can see it's automatically generate the image in the list okay how much it size so it's a very good and then again let's add some more file for it we can say drag and drop so guys i already set a new image so let's upload again and now you can see that third one is also uploaded in here you can see 
all the images is now displaying from the story so if we cut the app and again open the app but it have the all the data but it takes some time to uh, get all the data in the list so you must need to it uh, depend on your internet connection how much your internet connection is better your data displays more than good okay so now you can see it's all the name and the image is showing uh, maybe it will be helpful for you and uh, thanks for watching guys please like, like share subscribe and hit the bell icon if you have any question you can comment us i say the word in two times so guys please like and share okay bye bye